Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Cast. I'm your host, Seishu. Today I'm speaking with Jason Grubb, a wedding photographer based out of Denver, Colorado. He's also an entrepreneur. Uh, if you've ever wanted to know anything about SEO, this is the guy to talk to. Jason, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Jason, I think uh, we're going to cut right to the chase, my friend, because uh, you know, you're a phenomenal photographer. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but you're, you're, you're sort of getting into social media a little bit more. You're playing with Instagram, I hear. So tell us a little bit about your love affair with Instagram. Sure. Uh, well, Instagram obviously started out, I think like everybody, as a, a little bit of a mystery. Um, Absolutely. What do I do with this thing? Um, I, I certainly enjoy it. Uh, the filters are awful. Um, but but there's something here. There's there's uh, there's this um, ease of use that uh, I enjoyed uh, about it, um, and I think I've been on Instagram three maybe three years. Um, so initially, it was just for me a way to document um, my life, what's going on, my kids, our adventures, and and um, personally, thoroughly enjoyable. I mean, literally opening up Instagram. And, and flipping through my feed and enjoying the community that I that have around, the people I follow, um, and then sharing our lives. And of course, now going back in our Instagram feed, go back three, four years, there's this incredible wealth of, of, um, of our history there. And we love that. Um, but I, as, a, as an entrepreneur um, and photographer and business person, um, trying to think about, um, of course, this, this exploding social media um, vehicle Okay, so how do I use this for my business? Right. Um, and began to tackle that really, I would say about two years ago um, is when I started to take it really seriously um, and began to experiment with, with Instagram. Um, you know, obviously, as, as a wedding photographer, sharing uh, wedding photos on Instagram and, and, and sharing engagement photos on Instagram and, um, you know, pictures of the back of the camera at a wedding, you know, getting instantly... Um, instantly sharing things to the to the world, and we started to pick up a little bit of traction, a couple of followers, um, and and of course, um, and I'll talk about this in the webinar. Um, I immediately started to shift to the fact that this is not just for pure entertainment for me, which it initially was. This is a this is another marketing arm for my business. Sure. Sure, absolutely. And you referred to a webinar, and that's the webinar that's coming up in a couple of days yes. um, on shoot.edit. Um, I expect it to be uh, something that most people will glue onto because Instagram is blown up. There's no doubt about that. You know, I yes. keep hearing from uh, f you know art directors and uh, photo editors. They're all looking at Instagram to find new photographers, to, to be able to connect with photographers and, and give them jobs, you know, which is kind of cool. Um, how do you use Instagram? You've sort of hinted at it by saying, yes. hey, listen, I, I, as I'm photographing a wedding, I'm uh, taking a picture of the back of my, my DSLR and yeah. posting it to Instagram right away just to give a, people a little teaser. Sure. Um, tell us, if you can, give us one, one example of how you've actually made the jump from Instagram, the sort of addictive tool that we all love, <laughs> to, yes. to making it pay, You're making it sure. you know, show you sure. the money. Well, um, when, I, when I started to see it as a, as a marketing arm, um, I'll, I'll just share, I, I'm thinking in my head about six different ideas that, that started to flow when I started thinking of it as a, as a branch of my business and a marketing arm. Um, but one, I started to really pay attention to who I was following and who I was engaging with. Um, because anytime I'm sharing something with the world, I want to make sure the right eyes are seeing that. Uh, and as a wedding photographer, which is our primary bread and butter, um, I, want, I want people that are going to refer me weddings to see these pictures. Um, and similar to when I first started my business, I'd, I'd follow wedding planners and florists and uh, wedding venues on, on Twitter. Right. And I try to engage with them on Twitter. And right. um, I really shifted my focus to Instagram and, and am engaging with those types of referral sources on Instagram. Um, and that's just easy. By following them, engaging with their posts, um, obviously liking some of their pictures, but also commenting, engaging, starts a dialogue and a conversation and, um, and immediately started to build new relationships that I didn't already have. And um, you know, following somebody on Instagram and liking their pictures and um, engaging with them so much easier on that platform than cold calling a wedding planner 
Um, I, I, I don't want to, I have a cold, cold in years. Um, and I don't want to do that. So that was, that was just, that was easy. Um, the, the second thing that I will share in this webinar is, um, you know, with Instagram, your pictures are only seen by those that are following you. Um, so if I have 35 people following me, that's just not much of a reach. Um, so I developed and, and discovered a system to uh, exponentially expand my followers. Um, and and it's, it's, it's incredible. It's fantastic. And that's what I'm not going to share right now. That's my teaser. Um, we went from, uh, we had, we had a, maybe 200 followers um, and organically grew that to 11,000 followers in about a year. Wow. So um, that's good. We're still going, still going. Um, I'd love to, you know, I'd love to be, be 100,000 followers. Um, but so now each image that I share right now gets in front of 11,000 eyes. And that's, that's really the bread and butter, um, expanding that net, um, that, that reach out there so that when I share that one picture, because Instagram doesn't have an algorithm that, that filters out photos like Facebook does, I know that I'm getting an image to 11,000 people, which actually makes me think, I better be showing some really good images. I better be really deliberate about this. This is uh, really fascinating because, um, you know, just a few days ago, I was talking to a, a teenager who looked at me funny when I was poking through my Facebook uh, feed. And she, and she basically said, teenagers aren't on, on Facebook anymore. They're on Instagram as well. Right. You know, it seems like you found yourself a niche of wedding planners and uh, decorators maybe and you yep. know other people that are sort of in your sphere uh, yes. you know your business sphere and you're following them and they're following you back um, does that some, is that somewhat limiting though um, of course it is of course it is I, I, I just I mean it's just a branch of the marketing channel it's just one super easy tool that I use um, and certainly not the only tool. Um, we very are very strategic about Pinterest. We're very strategic about um, sharing on social media and being deliberate about that and being consistent. Um, it's just, shoot, it's just the easiest one um, to curate a following um, and, and create relationships that, that we would have never had um, without this particular vehicle. Uh, it's, it's truly amazing. And for, for me to invest that time and energy um, for free, which is great. It is free, except for my time. Time is cost. Um, it turns in for us, turns into um, bookings. And I wouldn't do it if it didn't turn into bookings. Um, and it's, it's remarkable um, to, to take a look at our, you know, if we take a pie chart of where all of our weddings come from, the, the weddings that come from Pinterest, the weddings come from Facebook, um, the weddings come from Google, uh, which is a huge chunk. Um, but the, the, the handful of weddings that come from Instagram that yeah, I just think, you know, per wedding, uh, the amount of time invested in Instagram versus the income from that wedding is, um, I, I don't even know what the right word is, but it's, uh, uh, it's, it's a good return on that little investment. Really good return. Um, I can't wait to hear the rest of your webinar uh, presentation because, you know, it's a mystery to me, it, uh, like it was a mystery to you when you first started Instagram. It, it is a mystery to me still, uh, although I have a fairly healthy following on Instagram it's it's only because I kept posting to it and and following yes. people and they followed me back and that kind of thing um uh, there's a question that I had asked you before we started recording and that was a conversation I've had uh, with my wife just a few days ago about how other photographers are actually being able to sell prints through Instagram and that also is something that blows my mind because I don't know yes. how, how are they doing it do you have an idea well um, yeah, they, they are very specific about posting a particular image, sharing that that image is for sale. Um, and one of the things you can't do in Instagram, you cannot put a link into a post. Uh, just, that's just not something that Instagram does. Um, so one of the little tricks that they use for that when they say this image is maybe a special edition, um, 100 prints available, um, link is in the profile. So they'll actually change their profile link from their gener generic website to a link specifically to that picture for purchase oh, for okay. a specific amount of time. Okay. Um, and then the next image that maybe they're going to share for uh, sale, they'll say, you know, link is in the profile. And that's sort of, that's lingo in the Instagram world. Um, link is in the profile. 
So you, that, that's the one link to share for that profile, period, while that picture is particularly for sale. Um, and by curating a really large following, um, I, could certainly, I haven't explored selling prints that way, but it's not, it's not a bad idea. Really not a bad idea. Right now I'm just curating bookings, which is plenty, plenty for me to do. Absolutely. Um, we'll Absolutely. see where that goes when we hit 20, 30, 40,000 followers. Um, that was a wonderful explanation of how you as a wedding photographer use Instagram. Yes. What would you recommend for portrait photographers? Mm. You know, I'd, I'd recommend a similar strategy. Obviously, portrait photographers aren't looking for referral sources, kind of right. the way that I initially started uh, uh, marketing on Instagram. Um, but if I, was a, if I was a portrait photographer, I would look to curate a following of my market. Um, so I, I do believe in specialism. So I, I believe as a portrait photographer, you, you have to choose some niche to, to really aim towards and go after. Um, and what I would do is I would look to curate that particular group to follow me back. Um, and interestingly, because you've, you've mentioned this a couple of times, liking somebody or, or following somebody, and then they'll follow you back. Um, well, one of the things that I really don't like is um, I don't want to follow 2,000 people to have 2,000 followers. Um, then I really can't even manage that kind of a, a feed in my Instagram. Um, and, and there, are, there are ways where people will they'll follow somebody on Instagram and then they'll follow back and then they'll unfollow them to, to just acquire followers. Um, what I'll share during the webinar is not that. Because um, that's uh, I, I see that people follow me all the time and then unfollow me because I can tell they're just trying to get me to follow them. Um, right. Right. I'll share how a portrait photographer or a wedding photographer or a boudoir photographer specifically could, could target a specific segment and begin to acquire followers from that segment um, without paying for followers or doing anything silly like that. Um, it's really simple. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll share it and, and well, I'll save that one. Awesome. Yeah. Jason, thank you so much for joining me today. You know, this, that little teaser itself was enough, I think, for people to, to jump <laughs> and say, wow, I need to know, I need to find out whether I can, I I can use Instagram as well. It should be about 10 minutes into the webinar. That, okay. little, that little teaser <laughs> right there, that answer is right there. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much. I will be posting the link to the, uh, the webinar down below in the post, so please feel free to click on it, register for it, and get in on it because this is going to be a very important very interesting uh, webinar for sure. Thanks, Jason. Thank you.